Hey, New Hope, it's Pastor Austin. I uh, just thought I'd bring you our daily uh, devotion today. I've been reading in Psalms chapter 40 and just wanted to share with you what I felt like God was speaking to me. Um, verses 1 through 3 says this, I waited patiently for the Lord and he turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and the mire, and he set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. And just a few things that I want to point out. The first is that David waited patiently for the Lord. I think that waiting is something that most people don't do well with, whether we're in a drive through line, whether we are waiting for an internet page to, to load, uh, whether we're just waiting for God to move. It's a difficult thing, but we can be assured that as we wait on the Lord, that we will renew our strength. Isaiah 40, 31 says, those who hope in the Lord or those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles and they will run and not grow tired nor weary and they will walk and not be faint. And uh, I just want to encourage us all. Let's not have drive-by encounters with the Lord. We are forced to spend more time in our home, which gives us an opportunity, yes, to get home projects done, yes, to do this and that, yes, to spend time with family, but we can really spend some time to wait on the Lord. And, and what we see happens as we wait on the Lord is we renew our strength, but it says that he hears our cry and then he lifts us out of the situation that we're in, the mud and the mire, and he places our feet on a rock and gives us a firm place to stand. I think that many of us, if we're being honest, we're not standing on the most sure of foundation. We were living a life that was very fast paced and we were not standing on the rock. And I believe that God can use this time uh, of of self-quarantining and and isolation and distancing and all these different things that that God can reset our our families our relationships our marriages on a rock where we become firm where we become strong where we can grow nice and tall and and the foundation is everything and I believe that the Lord is using this time to shake up his church to shake up believers and say return to me stand on the rock let's be strong let's be fervent for the Lord and what happens in the last verse is that he puts a new song in my mouth a hymn of praise to our God and many will see many will fear and many will put their trust in the Lord now uh, he puts a new song David may have been talking about an actual song that he was singing or playing um, but I, as I read that I thought wow God as I wait on you and you are realigning my priorities and you're putting my feet on on things that are solid God you are creating a new song in my life. You are creating a new lifestyle. I do not want to return to the old normal after all this is done. When this this uh, uh, social distancing is, is lifted, yes, I want to be around my friends, but I don't want to forsake my family. I was on a bike ride the other night, and I saw so many dads playing with kids. I saw so many people and, and couples going on walks. I want that to be my new normal. And, and as God brings peace, as God is, is with me, and I can have confidence going through these uncertain times, people will see the way that I interact with my wife. People will see the way that I interact with my kids. People will see the way I interact in, in these uncertain um, times and, and they will see the Lord in that and eventually they'll put their trust. And so I just want to ask you, what is the song that God is writing in your life? And are you going to return to a new normal uh, or to to the old normal, or are you going to, to continue walking in the new normal? And I would encourage us all, let's take time to wait upon the Lord. So let me pray for you. God, I thank you for everyone who's watching this. I pray that we would be patient and waiting for you, that we would uh, not just drive by, but we would sit in your presence, that we would have our strength renewed in you, that you would set our feet on a firm foundation, that others might see your goodness in us, in our marriages, in our families, in our relationships, in the joy that we have in all of the uncertainties, Lord. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you next time.